And what is the choice? Well, without going into detail, there's, there's two basic pathways. You can follow the mainstream, open yourself up to an oncologist and do exactly what he says. And they have basically three choices for you. They have surgery, they have chemotherapy, of course there's different forms of chemotherapy. There's new things like immune therapy, very expensive drugs, and there's radiation. I'm not going to talk about surgery. Sometimes surgery is necessary. If it can be avoided, fantastic. But chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and diagnostic tests that use radiation, these are processes, chemicals, frequencies of energy, nuclear energy, that all cause cancer. So one of your main choices in life in terms of cancer treatment for yourself and your loved ones is modern oncology backed by the FDA and the CDC and medical organizations using substances and medical processes that cause cancer to treat your cancer. Nobody can deny that radiation causes cancer. It's basic science. Every exposure, x-rays, and all the kind of radiations used to treat cancer, diagnosis, CAT scans, PET scans, mammograms. These, every exposure to, can to radiation increases your chance of getting cancer sooner or later. Chemotherapy is basically a poison. Not basically, it's poison. Chemical, toxic poison that is meant to kill cancer cells. And the side effect, of course, is it has the same effect on healthy cells. It's your choice. Most people today still take that choice because the other side is not very well defined and is under attack. Natural medicine. Just using the word natural medicine makes it sound weaker. When this is not really true, I have developed I've done the, basically the impossible and developed a new pathway of medicine. And many doctors around the world are following it. I've sold like 80,000 books in many different languages, from Chinese to, to Russian, Spanish, German, Polish. And what I've done and how I created the foundation of the medical path I call natural allopathic medicine is taken the best medicines from the emergency departments and ICU departments. Medicines that doctors use, so they're medicines when used in a hospital, when given intravenously or by injection, when, when a person's dying and the doctors have exhausted their pharmaceutical protocol and nothing has worked when, say, a person has a heart attack, cardiac arrest, patient is dying, you've given everything under the regular protocol for pharmaceuticals, they don't work, the person is dying, what does a good doctor do? Gives an injection of magnesium, magnesium chloride or magnesium sulfate. Sepsis, person is dying, of, the blood is poison, poison, turning acidic. Most people who have sepsis die, at least in America, even in America, 50% or more. Around the world, it's even higher. 
But a really good doctor, what will he do? Give an IV of sodium bicarbonate, alkalize the blood. Vitamin C. Vitamin D. Many essential things can be given to save a person's life. When a substance, natural or pharmaceutical, is injected or given intravenously, it is a medicine. But if you drink it, or put it on your skin, or take a bath in it, it's not a medicine. Or you'd say it's a natural medicine, alternative medicine. But the point is that there are very powerful substances that are used in dire situations to, that save people's lives in a minute. That can be used day by day, month by month, year by year to treat cancer.